Greetings. Chester here uh, in the CTU studio uh, with my co-host Fanny down here. Uh, he's a composer for 45Y Music. And I'm here with uh, another review. Uh, this library I don't think is for sale anymore, so it'll be a nice short one. Uh, I won't go into uh, all the, the stuff that I usually do, but um, we'll talk about it at least. I did add it to the the horror um, template that I'm that I'm building with the the sounds, and it is part of the uh, horror trailer album I'm trying to finish. Actually, this is the last track, so um, I'll have this finished up this week and uh, shop it this year. Um, the uh, uh, sample library is called Bleed. It's by Sample Tracks. Um, let's just start talking about it a little bit here. So. This is what I was able to find on the album or the library. Bleed uh, cinematic sci-fi by sample tracks is an essential new sci-fi sound pack, not new, <laughs> uh, designed for a modern trailer and soundtrack composer. Featuring a vast array of high-tech hits, impacts, and stingers, sophisticated transition and pass-bys, visceral stutters, risers, and more. Bleed is perfect for underscore electronic hybrid orchestral trailer music and much more. Uh, let's see, as with most sample track sound packs, Bleed offers a strong off-center sonic signature with exclusive independent sound aimed at the most demanding trailer editors, sound designers, and music composers. The library features 270 metadata embedded WAV files and 17 NKI patches for contact, all presented in the free photosynthesis engine for contact. This allows for a hugely diverse array of sound manipulation techniques of the basic patches. So, which is very true. So I, I'll be able to talk about this one a little bit. Um, here we go. Let's open up the UI on this. All right. So this is the photosynthesis engine. Uh, very popular. You'll see this uh, with, with other libraries too. So I'm not going to talk about too much. We'll not dive deep dive into this. Let's just talk about the uh, library itself. But I will say, uh, based on my earlier reviews of the other libraries. I do like the velocity, uh, at setting that up here and a little bit in the filter. Um, I do like that. It, it does give me the dynamic control that I was looking for, uh, in those previous reviews. Um, the, I love the screamer effect on this. Uh, you can do a lot with that. Um, here, the filter, uh, uh every patch is, uh, assigned, um, uh, CC1, the mod wheel, uh, is the cutoff, and that's um, pretty awesome. You can, I, I did actually use that a ton in the song, and then you can do things like some stereo, transient designer, some compressor. So like they were saying, the photosynthesis engine uh, can help uh, you and, and give you a lot of options, which I do think is really cool, um, and um, uh, it's it's an awesome engine. I wasn't able to get um, the the synth patches uh, installed or, or set up. So I'm going to have to kind of work on those myself um, uh, another time and, and try to get them in or, or a night where I can I got some free time. Um, I, I would really like to hear what those sound like, but um, unfortunately, uh, they weren't working today. So uh, here's the song. Uh, it's called Wretched Stench. Um, as I was saying, the last song on the album um, sounds like this.
Awesome. And that's a track. Um, heavily features bleed. We were able to get every preset um, at some point in the song. Uh, we did need some help. So I, I added anti system and, and alert uh, in some parts. Uh, and as I was saying, uh, they all blend really well. I didn't really do much to them. Um, one thing I give bleed a really great upper hand on is how huge it is. Uh, very trailer like I'm actually shocked to see that it says it's a sci-fi library um, because it felt more horror to me. It always has. And, and when I read it today that uh, it was kind of a sci-fi one, I get it because it does mix with anti-system, which I felt was more sci-fi. Um, and it's kind of like they're, they're, they're like siblings. Um, there's like sibling libraries. And so they do work really well together, but bleed is just so huge. The hits are so big. Um, the bass, the downers that, that you get with this and also the bass, um, sounds are, are incredible. Um, uh, the Larsons are really tasteful. Uh, the glitchers fun, uh, the micro impacts when you can add them in, uh, they, they fit really well. The rise stutter is, is a favorite. Uh, the reverses are good and the whooshes are, are also tasteful. So, it, it, um, for what it has, uh, it's, it's really good stuff. Um, it is small. I would, uh, worry a little bit about sounding like other, composers um anyone who's using it anyways so i would have to go in and, and change these sounds quite a bit uh make them my own um and the other the final thing i will say because this might be my last review for a minute with sample track libraries uh sample tracks libraries is that uh they are huge out of the box when you get them in so if you have or rely on a preset or a, a template like i do Make sure that you are uh, opening uh, things up for them to breathe and 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 make that full sound uh, l as the least amount of compression as you can because uh, when you start squeezing these sounds, they do not work and and they don't do what what they're meant to do. That and that's the sample tracks. That this is a full course meal that that you get out of the box, and so uh, it, if I was comparing it to food, you don't add salt or pepper to these things. Like they sound good out of the box. So you got to just be careful, make it your own, yeah, of course, uh, and, and get them in your template, but just be careful about your template. You, you might have to open things up a little bit and, and make some room for them. Maybe even its own bus, like a, a sample tracks bus and, and don't process those until the end or something because, uh, they, they don't work like other libraries do. They are huge. Um, the ones with contact anyways, I, I do have some of the others like, uh, Volta and, and monochrome, and I will manipulate those and, and make those sound big because you get the raw wave files, but these, uh, these contact instruments, they are ready to go. Um, I, I think they were made, made that way. So, uh, yeah, bleeds awesome. I, I'm not going to rate it or anything like that, but, um, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad it's in the, the library. Uh, and I'll use it where able. So um, it was fun making a song with all the the uh, libraries we've rated so far. Um, check out the channel. There, there's going to be a few there. And that's going to wrap up, um, for now, uh, the horror uh, sample library reviews. Uh, I'm moving to a new genre. So uh, we'll start looking at some other libraries. But if you want to see more hybrid uh, libraries or trailer libraries or even horror libraries. I got quite a few. Uh, just let me know and I will make a review on, on those. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, hope uh, you enjoyed that one. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have Bleed, uh, let's chat about it. Let me know how you use it. Um, if you don't, hopefully they'll uh, maybe bring it back or you might see a new library with some of the sounds because they are awesome. Um, and uh, I wish, uh, if you didn't have it, I wish you would have been able to pick it up when it was available. So, all right. Uh, thanks all. Cheers. See you again.